There she is, loves. You want to talk about some yummy grunginess. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Um, that's something my mother would say, Lord, have mercy. What the heck? All right, so anyway, this is just so fabulous. So I tried to, I did a couple things. I used a couple things that were different this time around. Of course, I did all of my regular papers. That's just scrap stuff, dictionary page, etc., etc., just scraps. But I, let me see, I used, um, this is Finnabar's. I got a couple of her things just because I've seen a couple of people use them and I thought, hmm, but this is texture powder and I love this, love it. Um, you put it with regular paper, um, regular paper, it's been, it's, oh yeah, I'm on overdrive right now. Um, you put it with regular paint and it gives it the texture like modeling paste. It's, it's like a combination between modeling paste and texture sand. It is delicious. And what's really great is you can take your colors, whatever color, and use them. And because it's this powder, it doesn't really, it doesn't dilute the color, which is fabulous. So you can mix your own wonderful color and create whatever you want. And so th that's, and I used, um, I used one of my, two of my stencils. I gotta get this in the water. Ah. Um, this is the Old World 2. And I, oh dear, I better get that in water right away. Um, I designed this one to kind of look like an old tile that you would see maybe in something Moroccan. Ooh, something is not dry yet. How did that happen? Oh, it came from the <sighs> stencil. Anyway, okay. Um, but like an old, old tile that you would see on the wall or something. Oh, man, I love it. And so I wanted all that, that grunginess. And I um, put down some tissue paper, too, to kind of create some additional texture, which is lovely, 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 lovely. So I used the splatter. Um, stencil and I put it on and then I wiped it off so that they were really kind of watery and not hardly there so th and that's exactly what I wanted I did you I did bring out my crink um, these are whoops that's not crink uh, white and black this is a permanent paint stick um, to kind of age and go give a little bit of white and it's permanent it's like it's acrylic paint so these are these are super de duper cool too and that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So uh, I just love it. Love, love, love. So um, the quote here says, and this is how this is how my life works. I'm searching. I'm like, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? So I need an inspiration. I need inspiration. And I'm digging through papers, and, and my shelves are stacked, and I'm digging through papers, and this book falls open. To this quote and I'm like okay all right thank you very much that's exact and, and it was it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so um, it says the soul should always stand ajar ready to welcome the ecstatic experience and I thought it kind of it's kind of an awkward uh, kind of awkward like ecstatic experience so the the dictionary page that I put down is um, the ecstatic, where is it, here it is. So I read ecstatic and I was like, it says full of ecstasy, ecstasy, and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but ecstasy is state of great joy. And I was like, yeah. What if we woke up and said to our souls every day, all right, what great joy am I going to experience today? The door is ajar waiting for something really, really awesome to happen today. Eyes wide open, looking, expecting, waiting for the joy to happen. We would see it. 
we would some days we miss it some I totally miss it because I'm so busy and I'm so focused and I I'm not waiting and expecting and I'm just head down things I gotta do but what if we woke up and just muttered our own little internal meditation or prayer okay soul I am ready to experience some joy some something ecstatic something instead of all of the usual all of the life stuff I want to experience I'm open I'm ready I want to experience some joy and, it, and when we do that our eyes are open to seeing it we're ready and it comes maybe not necessarily you know we're not gonna get a million dollars but Maybe your kids say thank you. Or your husband takes out the garbage. I'm saying that they're not huge, um, gigantic, you know, you know, stars coming down, but the small joys of everyday life they are part of the ecstatic experience. Sometimes it's bigger than that. Some it, sometimes it is great things. Sometimes it's a new job or a new whatever. And sometimes it's the little tiny things. If we just say, I'm ready, they'll be shown. Because our eyes are open and we're expecting. My friends, I hope that by, let's see, by the time you see this, I have recorded a whole bunch of videos so that I can enjoy time with my family. But I believe that when you see this, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, you will, uh, there will be a sale happening, and Sunday and Monday are stencil sale. Um, stencils are 20% off, I believe. So, I hope you can grab some of those. I hope if you are in the U.S., and I'm sorry if I include all of everybody in the Thanksgiving thing, but if you're in the U.S., I hope your Thanksgiving was awesome. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday today and that you are, that your soul is a jar, ready, ready to welcome the ecstatic experience, the great joy. It's there. All right, my friends. Have a wonderful Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.